Happy Sunday Facebook. How's everybody doing? So got an open house today and tomorrow. This is a single family home, seven bedrooms, five bathrooms in Boyd's, Maryland. This is uh, Boyd's is in between Gaithersburg and Germantown. It's actually very close to the Wegmans, one of my favorite grocery stores. So let me do a quick little uh, tour, walk around the house. So this is the entrance. You can see the garage is there. You got your own yard. This is what the neighbor lo neighborhood looks like. You can see here are the birds singing, and it is a gorgeous day to be out. All right, and then here is the exterior of the home as well, so that you can kind of get a sense for that. So brick all throughout. Hey, Becky, thanks for joining us. And it's actually got some nice landscaping as well. I know. But then if you look over here, there's a little bird bath. I, like, I love those things. Okay, so let's take a look inside the home. What does it look like? So, seven, five bathroom single family home in Montgomery County, Maryland. Asking price five twenty five. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the downstairs first. Now, what's actually kind of interesting is that there are two bedrooms in the basement, as well as a large, uh, you know, finished room. So if you take a look, this is one of the bedrooms. You got the lighting in the top. All throughout and you got the closet over there and you can also you, know, you got natural light as you can see hey Jeff thanks for joining us all right now let's take a look at that second bedroom which is over here so again ceiling lights you got the windows you got closets and actually here this is kind of a cool closet let me walk you over here so look at that. Hey Scott, thanks for joining us. So got the shelving, you got the nice wood paneling throughout. I have a lot of friends who play Native American flute and they would store their flutes in a room like that. That's cedar. Okay. Now those two bedrooms share a bathroom. So this is what that bathroom is. It's a full bathroom. So there you go. You got the sink. A lavatory and standing shower. Hey Dave, thanks for joining us. Now, uh, oh, you know what? Before I even go there, let's let me show you this other room here. So this is a large room over here. Now I think technically it cannot be categorized as a bedroom because it does not have those windows, but it does have the closet. It's a very sizable room. So this is, uh, as I walk through the house, the ideal layout is actually for uh, if you have another family that wants to live down here, they don't necessarily need a kitchen, or if you're okay sharing your kitchen, this this basement area, which has the two bedrooms, one full bathroom, and then that large, uh, almost kind of like basement chill area, has its own private entrance right there, which is awesome. And in addition to that, you got the you know large utility room, which you can use for storage, and you know it also has the utility sink as well as the washer dryer. All right. So that's the basement area, but upstairs is where my favorite part of the house is. So let's take a walk up here. Anybody have anything fun planned for the weekend? I'll be hosting these open houses. And I got uh, some friends who have a, a home inspection and they'll be moving very, very soon. So congratulations to uh, Tony and Mura for uh, finding their new home. Okay, so here is the hallway, the main room. So what you can see, this is the entrance. This is where you come in through. So let's take a look at the, the three bedrooms um, up in this wing of the house before I show you the kitchen because everybody loves seeing the kitchen. Okay, so here, this is the bathroom. Nicely updated. So this whole upstairs area is, uh, at least in my eyes, very, very much more uh, updated than the lower floors. So you got you know, tying all the way up to the ceiling, you have the inlet lighting, and everything is a lot more updated. Okay, now if you come over here, here is another bedroom. You got the window, you can see that. Hey Caesar, thanks for joining us. Okay, and then you got 
this room here. Now, this actually has two purposes. This can be used as its own bedroom, or if you prefer, it is actually connected to the master bedroom, which is right back over there. And as you can see, it has a mirror there. You can see my own reflection. So if you wanted to have a larger master area with maybe like an office or, you know, just like a study, something like that, then you certainly have that option. Okay, so here is the master. So again, this, is, this home is great for a family and it's also great for somebody if you just wanted to have a lot of space and, but also be able to rent out the basement to you know, some other families, that's great. Now the master has his own bathroom. There you are, you can see my rear side there. Sink, all that good stuff and look at that, updated shower. That would be a great nursery. I mean, as for parents, we're always looking for space for our kids, right? So you can have a bedroom here. And then right over there, probably want to childproof everything, but yeah, turn that into a nice little nursery. There's a lot of natural light in these rooms as well, which is fantastic. It's a great idea. Okay, so now let's walk over to the other wing of the house, but before that, we're gonna take a stop. This is the main living area here. So as you notice, actually, this entire side of the house, there is wood flooring all throughout. So if you notice all the floors there were hardwood, here we have hardwood. And then there you can see the view. Okay, but if we walk over to the other wing of the house, this is a nice big family room area. You got the fireplace, the view, lots of natural light again. And let me double check, but I believe this is a wood burning fires fireplace. Yes, wood burning. And there actually uh, are some wooded areas in the backyard. So you can tell that, um, you know, this is a great family home. I'll show you the backyard. That's kind of the reason why, but here we are. Hey, Jason, thanks for joining us. Hey, Rachel, thanks for joining us as well. So you can see a bit of the backyard there, right? You have the ramp. This is great, handicap accessible. This bedroom has its own private bathroom. Everything that you need, and then let's take a look at the seventh bedroom in this house. So here we are. Seventh bedroom, you can see the, the rear floor and carpeting as well. And this also has its own bathroom. Take a look at that. So this one has a tub. Yeah, and even a fancy shower head as well. All right, so one of the big appeals of a home like this out in you know, Boyd's, Maryland, is that you get you know, just more, more land for your money. So let me take you around to take a look at the yard here. Oh, you know what? I didn't even show you the kitchen yet. That's how rude of me. Hey, Molly. Okay, so this is like the sunroom area, right? Or I'm sorry, the breakfast area. Hey, Natasha, thanks for joining us. Right? And here's the kitchen. I actually really like this kitchen. They clearly updated it. You got the stainless steel appliances, wood cabinetry. And I don't think it shows it quite as nicely, but this is actually you know, very nice if you look at it in person. Again, if you're in the area and want to see this house, I'm holding this home open from 1 to 3 today and from 1 to 4 tomorrow. Okay. Now let's take a look at the backyard. Okay, so this is great if you are entertaining and want to host a bunch of the kids because look at this. So you have a generous sized deck, right? Great for barbecue. If you see behind me, there is a shaded area out back. All right, so you're not blazingly in the sun. And look at this, oh, I got the shed over there, but look at this beautiful backyard here. Is that nice? And what's that? Yes, this is, this comes with the house. Yeah, the wet bar area is really nice. Especially, again, if you have kids, it's really important just to have access to as much, you know, sink, water access as possible, cleaning things up, preparing food, washing dishes, all that kind of good stuff. 
but over here, look at that. So that's really great. If you got kids, beautiful wooded area. I mean, I grew up, you know, climbing trees and basically my version of play was, um, you know, just going outside and enjoying the outdoors. But look at that. So good plot of land out here. You know, plenty of space for gardening as well. You can also tell that, you know, this is a weekend and it's still very quiet, so it's not too overwhelming in a lot of these, uh, the newer developments, it gets a little bit louder because there's a lot of activity or it's close to shopping and that comes with its own pros as well. But there you have it. So that's this home. It's in Boyd's, Maryland. Um, there is, right, you can, I can see uh, Adelia and Kalina, you know, and Hiccup just loving running around out there and, uh, you know, but and once again, there's that view so you can see me out and about. And if you notice that there is nice spacing between the houses, even right over there. Now, in terms of what's in the area, so there are you know some parks nearby. It's uh, Clarksville is the high school, so that's rated, I believe, a seven on the school ratings. Uh, it's close to Wegmans, which is personally my favorite grocery store. Um, it's a little out of the way from where I live right now, but it's. Uh, you know, great grocery store. Unfortunately, they're not 24-7 like uh, the Wegmans that I'm used to. But uh, that's nearby. There's also Butler's Orchard, a great place for kids. Uh, they have, uh, you know, pumpkin picking, cherry picking, uh, animals, a large slime. It's a great place just to kind of have some good, clean, outdoor fun with kids. And of course, you know, it's also relatively close to like the Montgomery Village, Gaithersburg area as well. So if you're looking to commute, it's a, uh, you know, a really wonderful location. So, out of Boyd's Maryland, asking 525 and hoping, holding this house open today from 1 to 3 and tomorrow from 1 to 4. So let me know if you're interested in a home like this or something similar or something completely different. If you're looking to buy, sell, invest, I'm here to help. I just want to help. And the other thing that I'd like to know is that if you are a, uh, a first-time home buyer and haven't worked with a real estate agent before, uh, there isn't any cost for me. I don't charge you for showing homes to you. So if you're curious and just want to see a house, I'm happy to do that. And if you, you know, are looking to sell a home, I'm happy to, you know, let you know about what homes in your area have actually sold for so that you know what you're sitting on in terms of value because values are constantly changing and, you know, you never really know what your home is worth until you get a chance to look at the market here. So thanks so much for joining me on the tour of this home and I'm going to get everything ready for that open house. But you know, I look forward to talking with you guys soon whenever you have any real estate needs. Take care.